it going guys? Pogo here, and welcome to the next video of the Permissions uh, mini-series. In this video, we are going to add groups. Now, um, in case you don't already see, I do have a group class, and um, the, the reason why I'm doing this is I went um, back today to, because uh, I wanted to make the video today, and I wanted to figure out how exactly I would go about making groups, and I figured it wouldn't be too hard, so I went in and I tried doing it, so that I would have an idea of how to do it when I made the video, and it turned out to be a lot harder than I initially thought. So I'm going to show you guys how I did it. I already did it, but I'm not going to delete it and try to do it again because I know I'll mess something up. I also haven't yet tested this. I will fix any bugs that j that happen to um, occur, but this should work. I looked over the code and it looks fine. If you see anything that doesn't look right, then feel free to let me know. So the first thing that you want to check out is um, the group class. Uh, I made a new class for group, and this is basically a wrapper class that represents a group. Uh, the group has a name, and it has a list of permissions. So, um, in the constructor, and I'll show you where we do this, but um, in the constructor, we you know set the name accordingly. Um, there's a little get group section method, which I'll show you in settings manager, um, and if there's no... Um, so it'll be like groups and then it'll be the name of the group and if there's no list of permissions there then it will set the list of permissions to an empty array list and then finally it says um, makes a new array list and the argument that it passes to the constructor is um, the string list under permissions and when you pass a list to an array list in the constructor it will automatically add all of these values to that array list uh, we have the getName method, which returns the name of the group. The hasPerm uh, or permission method that takes the permission and tells whether or not the group has it. Um, and then we have, um, you know, the getPerms that just returns the list. Um, but the two uh, most important ones are add and remove. Um, so they add and remove from the array list. Um, then it sets the um, the uh, permissions list for this group to the new permissions list that has the new permission added or removed. It saves it, and then finally it calls inject player on the online players. And uh, we're going to go to settings manager and take a look at what I changed, because I changed quite a lot. Um, first off, I changed, I think this used to be a player and permission attachment. I changed it to string and permission attachment. Um, I also have an array list of groups. Um, which contains all of the groups. Now one very important thing to note is I have changed the structure of how the um, configuration file is stored. So now um, it will be under user, it will have the user, it will have their individual permissions, and then it will have a list of all of their groups. Uh, then there's the group um, list under there is each group name and the permissions. I was originally going to have it where the group would store the permissions and the players in it, but I just found that it was already incredibly hard and it would just make it easier to store the group's name, uh, group names with the player. So that's how I decided to do it. Um, and because of that, I changed a few minor things, which I will show you. So um, in setup, after everything's set up, it will basically iterate over all of the um, groups. It gets the configuration section groups, which will contain, you know, sample or, you know, admin, mod, donate, or whatever. And um, as you guys know, the get keys method returns all of the um, sections. So in this case, with this configuration file, it would return um, just sample. And by passing it false, it means it's not a deep search. Uh, if it was true, it would return sample and then uh, permissions or perms, and I don't know if it would return these two values, but I'm going to have to guess no. So we want false there, and we just do groups.add new group for group name, so that just loads in all of the groups. Um, Add and remove are the same, but the get perms method is a little bit different because it is now stored under user dot uh, player name dot perms. So I just updated that a little bit. Um, in uh, uninject player is the same. Get group section just returns groups dot name as the configuration section. Uh, not too much interesting there. Um, 
save is now public. It used to be private. That's just so I can access it in the group uh, class. So if you get an error pertaining to that, just make save public. And the one I've been saving for last is inject player. Now this takes um, var args of player, which means that you can pass it like a player array, um, an array list, or you know some kind of list of players, or you can just pass it like p1, p2, p3, as if you're passing it three different player arguments, and it will handle any of these as if it were um, an array. So it'll go through all of them. Um, it'll say if there's not already an attachment for that player, then it will put the attachment in. Um, it will go over all of the permissions for that um, user, and it will set the permissions to true. Then what it does is it will go over um, all of the groups. So get configuration section groups, and I just realized that's wrong because it's actually a um, string list string list and it's so it's not get keys so it should be um, so it'll just go over um, groups it'll go through the string list and for every one it will iterate over all of the current groups um, if the group name is equal to um, if the current group here is equal to the group in the uh, player list then it means that that player belongs to the group it will then iterate over all of the permissions in that particular group and add it to the player so um, in group, whenever a permission is added and remo or removed, um, all players are re-injected. So if they were already injected, it won't add a new attachment, but it will, um, you know, put it'll update for all of the permissions of that group. Uh, and then uninject just needs to stay the same because you're just removing the attachment. So um, that is that should be about it. Oh, and one thing that I just realized is I think that's supposed to be pl.getName because it's a string permission attachment. Yes. Um, so that's about it. Um, again, I have not yet tested this, but I will test it. Um, and I don't think that there's anything else left in this um, series. I don't think that there's anything else left to do. So um, I will do the commands, and um, as far as command structure, um, might as well just quickly show you. I think, sorry, I think that the way that we'll go about doing it is it's going to be slash perm or you know whatever the command is, um, perm, and then it will be add perm, uh, and then group. So you could do like perm add uh, perm add um, or add uh, user or add group and then or no it'll just be add user or group that's just a way of writing user or group so I can do perm add user pogo six twenty nine um, and then the permission or perm add group sample um, so that'll be name so it'll be perm add user or group and then the uh, name so pogosic 29 or like sample for the group and then the permission or it would be you know perm remove um, then it would be perm um, perm group name would um, list group perms, um, perm group name add user, self-explanatory, and then um, there's also remove, and oh yeah, I might as well do perm, uh, perm user name will um, list user perms. So there's adding and removing for a user or a group. Um, there is, um, you know, listing for groups or users, and then there's adding and removing users from groups. And I'm, I might redo this a little bit. I might just have like group add 
user or ad group. I'll figure it out, but it'll be something like that. And I don't think it's really important to do it in the video, so I will just show you guys how I go about doing it, because you can figure it out yourself. So that's all for this video. We implemented uh, a basic group system. There's no kind of like inheritance or, or anything like that, because that would be getting um, really complicated and it's just really complicated. So, as always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I will see you guys soon uh, with the probably final video of this series. Bye, guys.